telemedicine, we would have had no access to our patients during the shutdown. It allowed me to maintain continuity and care with my patients. We know a lot of patients with chronic diseases were at higher risk for developing severe illness. Telehealth helped keep them safe. All of a sudden, COVID turned it into the most precipitous change in practice that we've ever seen. Telehealth has been critically important for the practice of medicine during the course of the pandemic. But now it's become essential to being able to provide access to care. Especially for folks who have a hard time getting around, telehealth has made all the difference. The need for telehealth spans beyond the pandemic. Over 40 million Americans live in rural America most of them living up to 10 miles or more from the closest healthcare facility. We were trying to figure out how many miles between an Indian Health Service rural clinic and a dermatology office. The national average is 68 miles. Telehealth helps bridge the gap to those individuals, to people who really need it, who might otherwise go without. Without telehealth waiver protections, it'd be harder for us as physicians to be able to provide these services. It's gonna be critical that we continue those regulatory flexibilities going forward. We absolutely need the AMA behind telehealth. Not only does the AMA support telehealth services, they have adopted policies to ensure the safety, quality, and effectiveness. We've been able to stand up for doctors and keep their practices going. If you aren't a member, you don't have a voice. We really are stronger together. Supporting telehealth means access. Supporting telehealth means equity. It means better outcomes, reduced costs. The impact of telehealth on our patients is transformation. <laughs>